Welcome Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans on December 12, 2017. We're getting ready to close out this calendar year. Two more basketball games remaining for the varsity squads. First one this week here at home, hosting the Ellsworth Bearcats. First the gals and the guys, Dale Leach and Mike Perry to bring you these games. For the girls, this is the 91st game in the series, dating back to 1976. Minneapolis leads it 49 to 41. Ellsworth has won the last two games. Minneapolis last one on February 9, 2016. At home, home we lead them 27 to 20. For the season, so this young season so far, Minneapolis girls are one win, two losses. They have outscored their opponents by an average of 37 to 35. Ellsworth, on the other hand, is three and one. They've outscored their opponents by an average of 47 to 38. They beat Lions, El Saline, Phillipsburg, and Russell, and lost to Nickerson by two. They will be led, most probably, by Colby Davis, number 22, 5'10", senior. Uh, 23, Janae Brungart, 5'9", senior. Expect to see uh, some good work under the boards by sophomore, number 15, Lakin Tenbrink, if she plays basketball like she did volleyball. Well, it'll be a good test, Dale, that's for sure. Minneapolis needs to play well, stay in this game. Elsewhere, it's going to be tough. As you mentioned, uh, you've seen the Davis girls play before. The younger one of years past, these girls can play. They're very athletic. Got a brother or two that played as well on the boys' side. So I look forward to this game. It's a good test for Minneapolis, first league matchup. And it's good to get off to the win side in the league right off the bat. We're going to have to do a lot better job of taking care of the ball than we did against Halstead. We had 30 uh, some turnovers. For Ellsworth, number three, that's Jenna Hass. And for Minneapolis, Kirstie Nelson. For Ellsworth, number five, Paige Talbot. And for Minneapolis, number 10, Zoe Shoup. She'll run point guard for Coach Weatherman. For Ellsworth, number 15, Lakin Kenbrick. List her at 5'11", and she's never bit of that. For Minneapolis, number 13. Is Courtney Walker. Courtney Walker, yeah. And for Ellsworth, number 22 is Kobe Davis. For Minneapolis, number 15, that's Charisma McNary. Two guard, she's a shooter. She gets hot, she can four in three. And for Ellsworth, number 23, that's Jenna Rungard. For Minneapolis, Faith Kornick. Kornick. Why am I having trouble with names tonight, Dale? Number, number 32, Faith Cornick. a senior. Uh, against Halstead, we lost both Faith and Charisma to fouls. Um, Faith has been in double figures all three games so far. The, the, the big one being 23 points against Solomon to open the, yep. open the uh, season. But uh, been what? just 10 or above, I think, the last two games. One thing about it, you can't help your team if you are on the bench. No, in that second game against Bennington, she spent a good share of the first half on the bench. And then really never got attracted in the second half, but I remember right. 
Jumping center for Ellsworth will be Davis. And for Minneapolis, Faith Cornett. And we're underway. Tip is up and controlled by Minneapolis. Cornick with a quick hand, tipped it right away. Grisma down on the baseline, shot up, no good. And the rebound's pulled down out of there by Tenbrick. Push it up the floor, Davis gets it off to Talbot. Now on the left wing, Hass has it. Minneapolis man-to-man -man defense. Out front, Rungart. Motion offense for Ellsworth. Jump shot in the lane by Davis, no good. And the rebound pulled down out of there by Zoe Shoup. Nelson has it. So back to Walker. McNary, man-to-man -man defense by Ellsworth as well. Davis guards Shoup and Pass is intercepted from behind the Minneapolis player. Now down on the baseline, shot up, no good, and Nelson has the rebound for Minneapolis. Bad pass turnover didn't hurt us there, and Minneapolis on the offense. Shoot all the way in, left-hand layup, no good. Good look at a layup. Pass pulls down the rebound for Ellsworth. Now Davis. Skip pass to the right side. That's Tenbrick. Looking for somebody to throw to. All the way in she goes. Shot was there, but she didn't take it. Gets it back to Davis. She gives it up to Talbot. Now on the right wing, Hess. Good defense by Minneapolis here. Patient offense by Ellsworth. This is the Ellsworth coach we've seen for years, Cravens. It's a pretty good uh, team on the floor. His teams have gotten better and better over the years. Now the back cut and the shot no good. Shoop with the rebound. Over the back side of the rim, Shoop has the rebound. Now Charisma Vigneri is bumped. And we're gonna call it a blocking foul. We'll play it in under our basket. Try to get the shot off, but not in time. They call it on the floor. Blocking foul on Davis. Kobe Davis first personal foul, Ellsworth first, first team foul. Nelson to play it in, out front it goes. Shoot, has it. Charisma, three pointer on its way, front rim no good. And a good jump ball there by Walker ties it up. Walker gets right in there to tie it up. The possession arrow will favor Ellsworth. Lady Cats. Davis gets it on the wing to Talbot. Now back to Davis. She misses point blank. Tries to get her own rebound. It's taken away by Charisma Vigneri. Quick hands. She almost turns it over. Gets it off to shoot. Baseline is shut down and she dribbles it off her shin. The reach in foul on Faith, Faith Gornick. Mm -hmm. Didn't need that in the backcourt. Not a good place to commit a foul in the backcourt reaching in. Zero, zero, five minutes ago here in the first. Caroline Giles into the contest along with Greg. Timbrick looks at a three, passes it up, gives it to Talbot. Now inside, nice defense by Minneapolis, and there's Faith Cornick's second personal foul. I thought maybe she might have learned the last couple of games, but she's got her second personal foul within a minute and a half of the first quarter. Not a good deal. 
free throw up and rimming in by number 32. Courtney Forte comes in for Faith. That's Jade Talbot. She got them both. Two nothing Ellsworth, Lady Cats are trying to take over. Walker can't get the outstretched ball as Minneapolis turns it over. Three pointer on its way, no good. And rebound is pulled out of there by Charisma Vigneri. She is going to be an important part of this offense right now as primary scorer with Kornick on the bench. Shot on the baseline by Gregg. Good look, comes up short. And that pass to Davis goes out of bounds. Turnover right back to Minneapolis. Shoot back in. Giles with a exit to the bench. He'll probably be in for Walker here just shortly. And there's a pushing foul as Talbot pushes from Shoup just a little bit as she rounds the corner and heading for the basket. That's her first. Second team foul. Each team with two fouls. Shoup out front with the ball. Dribble drive at the free throw line. Shot no good off the mark. Forte has the rebound, and she has done a real good job rebounding. Second personal foul has just been whistled on Talbot. Excuse me, no, it's whistled on number five, the other Talbot. I was right, just the other sister. <laughs> Nelson back in, Greg with a couple minutes, gives Nelson a breather, shoot, play it in. There Forte is, a good pass to the backside. Forte shot up, no good. Back ram, and it's... Rebounded by Ellsworth, and Charisma Vigneri, I believe, is going to be whistled over the back. No. Forte or her? It's going to be number 21, Forte, with the foul. Three team fouls apiece now. 2-0, Ellsworth, 3.40 to go in the quarter. Courtney with her first personal foul. She's going to have a lot of minutes with Kornick in foul trouble with a minute and a half into the contest. Good denial by Zoe Shoup. Oh. They give it to Minneapolis somehow. I thought it was tipped out by Shoup. Evidently touched by Ellsworth. Nelson. Out front, Walker. Bank shot. Count it. Three to two, Lady Lions. Free ball goes in for Courtney Walker. Emma Huesner, excuse me, that's Talbot, Paige Talbot, her sister, number 32. Jade Talbot, yeah, I got him straight. <laughs> Talbot all the way in. Layup, no good, and she is fouled. It's going to be a two-shot foul. Foul's whistled on Walker. Number 13, Courtney Walker with the reach-in foul. It's a two-shot foul for Talbot. First throw on its way. Missing. Three to two, Minneapolis. 2.41 left first quarter. Katie Trabasco comes in for Walker. Second throw on its way, it's no good as well. Tipped out of there by Probasco and picked up by Shoup. And the pass down low is off the hands of Nelson and goes out of bounds. Ellsworth back in control. Paige Talbot with the ball. Skip pass to Davis on the right wing. Looks inside. Nothing happening there. Now the baseline drive by Talbot. Dishes it back. Oh. 
to pass her shot. Courtney Walker with the big board, and she's fouled. Or not Walker. <laughs> Forte. Forte, yeah. She does rebound well, and that's another foul called on Brun, uh, Brungart. 14 fouls apiece. Run guards first. I thought that was the second foul on Talbot. Not. Shoot. Gets the ball screen from Forte. Out front, Nelson. Three pointer on its way. Good. Wow. Nelson hits from the outside. Kersey with a nice. Oh, they're going to count that. As Davis gets all the way to the rim. And she is fouled. by Kirstie Nelson. Six to five, Lady Lions, after those two free throws. Three point play there by Davis. Gets the Lady Cats back to within one point. Ball tipped out of bounds. It will remain with Minneapolis. Nelson to play it in for Minneapolis. Forte. Could have been a walk with the shuffle of the feet. And a three second call on Minneapolis. For Bosco in the lane a little bit too long. Shoot back in and Bosco heads to the bench. 134 remaining in the quarter. It's six to five, Lady Lions. Talbot with the ball on the right wing, gets it off to Davis. Lady Cats, dribble drive into the paint, pulls up, jump shot no good. And the rebound is pulled down by Forte. She's a good rebounder, Dale. Yes, she is, and has a lot of energy. She'll only get better. Just freshman, isn't she? Yes. Yeah. High post action, Forte, dribble drive down the lane, she goes. Had a shot, wouldn't take it. Walker has the ball taken away from her. They're gonna call a jump. Minneapolis possession, 54 seconds remaining in the quarter. Arrow stays with Minneapolis, Carolyn Giles in, and Lauren Gregg for this inbounds play. Drag to play it in. We box up on the inbounds play. Well, Lauren, yep, gets it in to Carolyn. Now down low to Greg, dribble drive in the paint. She's fouled. No call. Out of bounds off the Bearcat. They had her across the forearm. Mm -hmm. It will be Minneapolis ball to play in under her own basket. Giles to play it in this time. Gets it into Walker, and she's bumped pretty good there by Talbot. And that is her second. Team foul six on the Bearcats. Jade Talbot. I take that back, five. Minneapolis to play it in under her own basket. Lauren Gregg to throw it in. And that tipped out of bounds by Brungard as they try to hit on the back side. Minneapolis to play it in once more. Back pick, Forte not open on the back side. Ball is tipped out of there by Ellsworth. Minneapolis having little troubles on the inbounds play. We get it into Walker, off to Giles. That was a travel, not called. Good pass to Walker, shot up and in. Nice pass by Caroline. And Walker has five. Eight to five, Lady Lions. Up front, Rungart gets it off to Hass. Or Paige Talbot, excuse me. 10 to shoot. 
Well, they throw it away. On the back cut, Davis was headed to the basket. And Paige Talbot throws behind her. Will be Minneapolis ball with nine seconds left in the first quarter. Got to be in it. Got to hurry. Got to hurry, Carolyn. There you go. Almost gets it down low to Walker, and that's uh, the first quarter will end. That's a good play as Walker came open for a second, and the pass was tipped by Ellsworth. Ellsworth had it at the end when the buzzer rang, and that's the way the first quarter ends. Minneapolis leading the Ellsworth Lady Cats, 8-5. to five. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. Ellsworth will inbound with the possession arrow here. Start the second quarter. Now we're underway here in the second quarter. Davis has it, gets it off to Talbot. Back out to Brungart now. Pass down low to Davis is intercepted, but intercepted once again by number 15, Tenbrick. And she is fouled on the stick back. That's Walker's second personal foul. Sixth team foul, Ellsworth with five. Two shot foul for Tenbrick. First throw, no good. Three out of five shooting for the Bearcats. Second throw on its way. She missed it as well. And the rebound is picked up easily on the back side by Brungard. Oh, is that Brungard? Shot was up and in. Entry pass to Forte is tipped out of there by Ellsworth. Yes, it does look like that was Brungart. And the entry pass is tied up by Ellsworth. Possession arrow will remain with Minneapolis. We're really short right now. Yeah, we want to leave Forte in. Courtney's coming out with the two personal fouls. Forte will stay in. Nelson to play it in for Minneapolis. And that's tipped by Davis, almost intercepted. Not getting a lot of mileage on her inbounds play. Nelson to play it in, in front of the scorer's desk. And they intercept our pass, pass, or Talbot all the way in, shot up and good. Ellsworth takes the lead, nine to eight. Shoup has it for Minneapolis, guarded by Davis. Nelson cuts into the lane, shot off the mark, and the rebound's pulled down out of there by Tenbrick. Now Davis all the way to the basket, layup good. Ellsworth takes the three-point lead, 11 to eight, with 6.56 here to go in the second quarter. 30 second timeout, I think, wasn't it? I believe it was. By Minneapolis. Now with Walker, Kornick on the bench. We aren't quite as deep. And Davis will get all the way to the basket if she can. Right there, she, she likes the layup and she hits him. Minneapolis has Charisma Vigneri, Forte, Lauren Gregg. Zoe Shoup and Kirsty Nelson on the floor. We're back under play, in play here as Zoe Shoup hands it off to Greg on the left wing, dribble driving the baseline, shut down. She double teamed near pass out of there, almost intercepted, rescued by Shoup. It's a ball screen by McNary. The layup off, high off the glass, no good. And the rebound's pulled down by Ellsworth. Talbot has it. 
Davis baseline jump shot, no good. And the rebound on the back side by Lauren Gregg. Shoot. Gets it back out to Vigneri, dribble drive in the paint. Tries to dump it down into Forte, and they're over the back. Reach over him yeah, on Davis. That is Davis's second personal foul. That's just the 16 foul on Ellsworth. We'll play it in under um, basket. Each Davis will head to the bench. Each team being the bonus next time anybody, either team uh, fouls. We bounce it off our feet. Out of bounds. Yeah, our inbounds plays are, haven't been very effective. Still 11 to 8, Ellsworth. Timber out front, dribble drive with the left hand. Gets it off to Hass. Man to man defense by Minneapolis. Here's a nice interception by Charisma Vigneri. Goes out of bounds. Number zero is in the contest. I guess that to be Maggie Winholz for Ellsworth. Probasco comes back, back in for the Lady Lions. Greg sits down. Timber plays it in to Paige Talbot. Now Brungard on the right wing, looking inside. Timbrick is there, and now the pass is intercepted by Shoup. She has a run out, and the layup is good. Nice anticipation by Zoe Shoup, and the layup gets Minneapolis back within one. Brungard right wing. Winholtz, now the long shot on its way. No good, three-pointer is off the rim. Forte fighting for the rebound. But Ellsworth comes out of there with it. Winholtz gets it off the Hass. Runyard, now the long three-pointer on its way. No good, didn't it? Hit iron, and for some reason, we lose it. And dive on to the floor, it's tied up. Possession arrow favors Ellsworth. And they'll play it in under their own basket. 447 left in the first half. Carolyn Giles into the contest. Tenbrick to play it in. Back cut. Brungart right there with the ball tipped out of there by Charisma Vigneri rescues the ball as she would have had a pretty easy basket. Good defense by Charisma. Tenbrick to play it back in. Talbot, jump shot on its way, no good, and Forte has the rebound for Minneapolis. Charisma all the way in, layup, and they're gonna call that on the floor. They're not gonna count the basket. Will be a one and one. Foul is whistled on number five, Paige Talbot. That's her second. Yeah. That's seventh foul. That should be should shooting. Be, why are we not shooting for, there we go. Glad they noticed that. It's gonna have to throw a pencil at him. <laughs> Charisma Vigneri to the charity stripe. Four A, one and one. She's a good free throw shooter. First throw on its way. Back rim, no good. Oh, and mercy. A foul on the Lions. Fifteen. I don't think she did touch too much there. We go to the other end for a one and one. Scores 11 to 10, Ellsworth. Sydney Wilson. At the free throw line. Greg comes Forte in for Forte. For Ellsworth. Must have some a scratch on the skin. Out. 
Had apparently dribbled a little blood on the floor. They're going to go clean it up. They've got it spotted somewhere, Dale. And while they do the cleanup, we'll leave and be back. Okay, the cleanup is done. Time for free throws. Hopefully just a free throw. Nope, they found another one. Sydney Wilson will go to the free throw line. It'll be a one and one. Great job, Mr. Mackle. Mr. Mackle's got the blood picked up off the floor. Free throw, no good. Winholtz almost had the rebound. She almost had a foul. We throw it away. Now Hass all the way in, layup, good. The lead goes back to three points for the Bearcats. Could have been a walk. Kind of a jump stop, I guess that's good these days. Giles out on top with the ball. Drag. And they did call it. Yep. Ball fake and then uh, except the pivot foot. Traveling is a call. 3.59 left, first half. 13-10, Lady Cats. Winholt can dribble. Oh my, right through the hands of Tenbrook, and they give it right back to us. Oh, it was on her knee. I thought they were looking at her ear or neck. Yeah, it was knee. Now the full court pressure by Ellsworth. We break it. Drag. And not a good idea. Skip pass all the way to the other side. Is tipped out of bounds by Haas. It will remain with Minneapolis. Kirsty Nelson to play it in. 13 to 10, 3.36 to go in the half. Out front, Giles stops, pops, shot no good. And the rebound is Greg with the rebound. She's tied up. It was. She hustled after Lions. that loose ball, but yep. she was tied up, as Dale mentioned. Carolyn Giles played in under her own basket. Greg stops, shot. Off the mark, saved by Nelson, and now Wilson has it for Ellsworth. And Kenbrick, Tenbrick, picks up the pivot foot, travels with the ball. Anna Wilson into the contest now. Zoe shoot back in, Nelson, Veneri. Forte and Greg. Pass is tipped and picked up by Wilson, and that pass is intercepted by Charisma Vigneri. Why they just don't have her bring the ball down, huh? Now shoot back in. Got a couple ball handlers in there. Shot from the outside, Greg off the mark. Rescued by Shoup. McNary now Nelson on the back side hits the layup. Nice feed from Venary. Very nice. 232 remaining in the quarter of the half. It's 13 Ellsworth, Minneapolis 12. 30 second timeout by the Lady Bearcats. Nelson cutting to the basket, got a nice feed, as you mentioned, from Charisma McNary. That backside was wide open, and she was all alone for the easy bucket. Minneapolis claw their way right back into this contest, just trailing by one here with two minutes left in the first half, and uh, with quite a few players still on the bench, Faith Kornick and Walker will set out the rest of the first half. Time uh, Shoup was on the bench at the same time with Nelson. It was uh, 
Not a lot out there. <laughs> Winholtz clears the timeline for Ellsworth. She's pretty good dribbler. Dribbles it off the toe that time. Picks up her dribble. Hands it off to Rungart. Now Haas steps back, three-pointer on its way, no good, and the rebound's pulled out of there by Charisma Vigneri. Skip pass to Greg, the other side stops. Back to Nelson, three-pointer on its way, front rim no good. And Wilson has the rebound, hands it off to Winholt. 13-12. Rungart out front, Wilson. Pass all the way to the basket. She's fouled as she gets all the way to the rack. The Veneri. Fouls whistled on. Yep. Veneri. For a second, team's eighth. Pass, free throw. On its way, no good. Carolyn Giles into the contest. McNary heads to the bench. It's her second personal foul. Another throw for Haas. It's good as Shoop's in the lane too soon. Well, she made the free throw, so there'll be no penalty for that. Right. She would have missed. They would have got another yeah. shot at it. 14-12 Bearcats, 138 to go in the half. Tenbrook back in the contest. Nelson plays it in to Giles. Gets it off to shoot. Nelson. Had an opening to the basket, shut down nicely by Ellsworth. Now inside, Forte, shot up, good. Forte working hard for that shot. Pretty much contested all the way in. Basket is good, and Minneapolis ties this ball game up. Good defense by Forte, call five, five second call. I think he counted it. I think he called it on about six or seven. I think so. <laughs> I was up to seven or eight. Forte working hard on defense and offense. Minute left in the first half. Drag. Pass it. Oh. Pass goes off the hands of Nelson. And Ellsworth picks it up. Now a long three-pointer on its way. Back rim no good, and Shoop pulls down the rebound. She's got an opening to the basket. Giles on the other side has a shot, passes it up now. Passes it back out front to Nelson. Shoop resets the offense for Minneapolis, 25 to Shoop. Nelson left wing. Now uh, Giles has it. 10 seconds. Now Nelson has it. We got an opening shooter in the corner. Oh, she was locked, locked the shot. I thought maybe she was fouled. Halftime. 14-14, Dale. You know, <laughs> I feel uh, pretty good about that. I do too with Bader with uh, Fort 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 sitting on the bench. Walker and McNary yeah. there in the end. So yeah. Yes, I, our uh, bench play was pretty good. Very good. Well, I'm giving out Mike the jacket oh, is gosh, going on. It's chilly up here. <laughs> and we'll be back with some point totals here in just a minute. We'll take all of the tally of up. Okay, welcome back as we got to tie up the first half. Uh, the Lions came back and led the first quarter eight to five. 
outscored by the Bearcats in the second quarter, nine to six for the 14-14 tie. Bearcats had about a three point lead for a while there in the second quarter. And Mike and I have said, we're just so very fortunate that, uh, with our two leading scorers, Kornick and Venaria on the bench. And Walker is a, another senior leader with fouls that we aren't down several points. And our two leading scorers, which is Vignari and Faith Kornick, haven't even scored. But yeah, the time right in the pine, those girls aren't helping their team any sitting there. So need to figure that out. Scoring and the first half. Jenna Haas has one point for Ellsworth. Paige Talbot has four for the Lady Cats. Tenbrick, I thought, was a little more assertive down low, but has not scored. Davis, probably their leading scorer, has five. Brungard has two. And Jade Talbot has two. 14 points for the Lady Cats. For Minneapolis, as Dale mentioned, Faith Kornick had not scored, and neither has Charisma Vignari. Courtney Walker with five big points in the first half, a three. And Zoe Shoup has two. Kirsty Nelson has five with a big three. And uh, Courtney Forte has the other bucket for Minneapolis. I might add, Miss Forte rebounds rather well for as young as she is. She'll get the hang of this game here pretty soon. She's going to be tough in the years to come, but she's a heck of a rebounder. She really is. And she's fairly tall, 5'10-ish. Got good moves. I mean, just a good athlete. She's a young and yet. And that's what it is, 14-14 at half. Minneapolis right in this thing. Ellsworth, Lady Cats. That looks like the Lady Cats will have the possession arrow to start the second half. And first possession. So we'll get Kornick back in the ball game and see if we can get McNary to light it up from the outside. And we'll take this victory home tonight, Dale. Sure hope so. We wish to... Uh, give our condolences to the Comfort and McCulloch families with the uh, sudden passing, passing of uh, MHS grad and supporter Mitch Comfort yesterday, I guess. Uh, very shocking. And, uh, to his family and to his friends. We'll miss many, you, Mitch. many, many friends. I traveled with Mitch uh, a time or two or three or four and you get to the location the dealers there everyone loved him he was uh he's a great guy and fun to work with fun to travel with but uh there he, he's got thousands of friends out there that know him well and and love him he's a great guy so our condolences we'll to sharon him. and uh i can't i can't i'm not going to try to mention all her children's days because I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Julie. Huh? Julie. Well, their kids. Oh. Sharon and Mitch's kids. Yes, and Julie Comfort, yeah. his sister. Brad Comfort, his half-brother. Julie McCauley. Yeah, Julie Comfort McCauley. And, uh, what is the Well, getting ready to play ball here. The second quarter, as Mike said, the Bearcat, Lady Bearcats will have the ball with the possession arrow. You ever seen a Bearcat up close, Mike? Nope. Uh, that's saw one down the Great Bend Zoo. Really? This summer. Well, Faith ought to be ready to play. I don't think she had to tighten up her ponytail. She's ready to go. And we're underway here in the second half. Man-to-man -man defense by Minneapolis. Shoop with good defense. Tipped away. 
Brungart rescues it for the Lady Cats. Now down low, Davis shot off the glass, no good. Yeah. We're so fortunate Faith Cornick didn't get foul number three there. Yeah. There's a good tie-up, aggressive move by Faith. She's not going to back up. Coach Weatherman looked at her like that could have been exactly what you mentioned, Dale, her third personal foul. Got lucky there. Shoop all the way in, layup, no good. And the backside rebound by Tenbrook. She got some height to her. You mentioned she was a fairly decent volleyball player. She wasn't a starter, but she did very well off the bench. A few times I saw him play. I imagine she played the front row. Yes. Now the pass is tipped around nicely and picked up by Walker. Gets it off to Shoop. Stops, pops, shot no good. Ball tipped out of there, and Tim Talbot picks it up. Three on two break that they now couldn't Davis convert. all the way in. Well, who touched her? It was a backside call. It probably looked worse and than Nelson. it was. Nelson with the reach in foul. Davis, they're going to count that basket. It's her sixth point, seventh point, and the and one is good. She had a wide open lane to the basket. 17-14, Ellsworth. Faith Cornick with a bad pass. Yep. Oh, good <laughs> defense, Faith. <laughs> She did a good job not reaching in and created, forced that turnover. Traveling is the call, Dale. I was holding my breath. How about you? Yes. <laughs> Shoot. And there's a reach in foul on Davis, I believe. Or Talbot. Talbot is whistled with her third personal foul. Minneapolis will play it in. Free throw line extended. Kirstie Nelson. Courtney Walker down inside. Faith Cornick. Shot up. Good. You got to have that, Dale. Yes. Put that post player to work. Drop step and turn and shoot off the glass. She's got a shot. Got to have it. If we're going to be effective, jump shot. Pass in the paint, and that's up and in. Kick by Davis as she tries to get it dumped in down low to Faith Cornick in the low block. Ooh, almost it. Good play on the back side. It's tipped out of there nicely by Brungart. Minneapolis will play it in one more. Another inbounds play under her own basket. We just have not been able to generate any offense off that inbounds play. Shoop has it right wing. Picks up her dribble. Now down low. Pass is intercepted and Tenbrick blocks. Tenbrick blocks shoot shot. Now Davis all the way in, jump shot, no good. Walker had it, fell down and lost it, and they pick it up. This collision between Walker and uh, Kornick caused that. Five point deficit, 21 16 for the Lady Lions. Nelson, dribble drive on the baseline, shot off the glass, no good. Rungard pulls down the rebound, and Gunnar Kornick, she could not get a hand on it. Talbot left wing. Rungard. Davis on the right wing, looks inside for a cutter. And three second call on Tenbrick is the Infraction, they turn it over. Now 
Giles comes in for shoot. Five point deficit for Minneapolis. Giles. Bounce pass to Charisma Vigneri on the right wing. Intercepted by Davis. Now she's got a layup. It's up and good. Bearcats put in some defense here and all of a sudden lead by seven, 23 to 16. Minneapolis takes a timeout, 420 to go in the third quarter. Minneapolis played in after that timeout. Seven point deficit now as Davis hit the layup on the turnover. There's a nice back for cut. And Nelson has an easy bucket of pass from Carolyn Giles. Davis all the way in, shot no good, gets her own rebound. Follow up is good. Davis now with 12 points. Foul on Brungart from behind Kornick. Second team foul, second foul, foul on Brungart. Minneapolis to play it in under our own basket. Lauren Bragg comes in. Gets it in to Kornick. Off Kornick. She couldn't hang on to it. It goes out of bounds. 344 to go in the third. Bearcats with the seven point lead. 25 18. Davis, left hand dribble, clears the timeline out to Brungart. Here on the right wing, Tinbrick. Now inside. Wilson spin move up and in. That's Jade Talbert with a nice spin move. Shot off the glass is good. Nine point lead now for Ellsworth. Charisma McNary three pointer. It goes in. We've been away for that, huh, Mike? We have Charisma with her first three points and it almost a save. Cuts into that nine point lead nicely. Ball will remain with Ellsworth. Davis to play it in. Forte in for Walker. Forte in. Ellsworth plays it in to Tenbrick. Now Davis. Queen keeper from driving to the basket. I think we'll be in good shape. Tenbrick all the way in. Her shot up and good. The left hander. Her first two points of the game. Back up to an eight point lead now as Ellsworth. Shoot left hand. Layup in and out. No good. Kornick has it. Cornick with the rebound, she's fouled. They had her across the arm, yes, number 32. There's a third team foul, third personal. 23 is who they put it on. 23. Rungart. Free throw by Cornick, up and good. Two shot foul as they had her across the arm. She had the rebound and uh, tried to put it back up and in and was fouled. I was afraid that maybe she, it was the other way around. Second free throw, no good. Forte, the offensive rebound, now shot from the outside, no good, way off the mark. Cornick with the rebound, up and in. There we go. 29-24, Ellsworth. Good hustle down low by Forte to keep that ball alive on the offensive glass. Now Davis. 
Out front, has three pointer, no good. Gonna be on Minneapolis. On Minneapolis, I think maybe Forte. Two five. Greg. Is Greg. Her first. Team second. Played in Davis all alone. Shot, no good. And they fix up the third. As if we don't box out, Brungard gets the rebound. Should go to the free throw line and shoot two. Cornick gets her third personal foul. Which at this time in the game isn't that bad. Free throw is good. 154 here remaining in the third. I'd play Cornick all the way out now. We're just getting warmed up, Dale. She got them both. 31 24, Ellsworth. Seven point lead. Three possession game. Shoop has it. Gets it off to Nelson. Ball screen by Shoop. Now out front. Three pointer. There we go. Just what the doctor ordered. Reduces the lead to four. 31 27. Three pointer will cure a lot of deficit. <laughs> nice shot by Charisma. She has two three pointers here in the second half. Pass all the way in, dumps it out to Davis. She's looking inside, dribble drive on the baseline, and Kornick just picked up her fourth. Looks like a nice block to me. Yeah, well, you swat like that, and you are usually going to pick up a foul. That's her fourth. That was quick. Davis to shoot two. First throw is good. Walker comes in for four. Davis three for three from the charity stripe. 32-27, five-point lead for Lady Cats. Minute 14 left, third quarter. Colby Davis, second throw on its way. It's good as well. Davis has 14 for the Lady Cats. Shoop picks up her dribble, shot way off the mark. Foul is called on Ellsworth. That's on Talbot. Talbot or John number 32. That's Jade. Jada Talbot. It's her third. Grundyard has three. Talbot has three. And Paige Talbot has three. Anna Wilson back in for the Lake. Lady Cats. Shoot, dribble drive, hands it off to Nelson, three pointer on its way, back rim, no good. That should have been a walk. No call as Davis hit the floor and slid. Pass, entry pass to. I think they're gonna call that on Forte before the shot. Forte second, and they'll play it in under their own basket. Davis. Gonna inbounds it. Nice, nice denial by Walker. Walker. You're right, Dale. He's got in front of the pass, and we almost turned it over. Out front, Forte. Looks inside. Off the Lions. We boot it out of bounds, and it will go right back to Ellsworth. 23 seconds remaining in the third. Lions down by six. 33-27. Winholtz back in for Ellsworth. Fourteen to shoot. Gets all the way in, layup, no good. Shoot has the rebound. Ah. 
Davis all the way to the basket, missed a little bunny. Thank you very much at the end of the quarter. Minneapolis had a couple seconds and couldn't get it down the floor. That's the way the third quarter will end. Ellsworth with a six-point lead, 33-27. Yep, they expanded their lead to nine. We kind of battled back and forth. Four-point deficit up to six now. We'll be back. Welcome back for the fourth quarter. The line's down by six. 33-27, that's quarters 19 to 13, that half, that quarter, excuse me. And Ellsworth has the ball to, with the possession error to start the fourth. Has to play it in for Ellsworth in the backcourt. Talbot, guarded by Shoup. Kornick in with four personal fouls. We need her presence on the offensive end. There's a pass intercepted by Shoup. Gets all the way in, layup, no good. Gets her own rebound, though, and tied up by Wilson. Foul, or excuse me, Jake Talbot. Oh, we had a tie up on one side and a foul on the other. Foul over rules. Yes, it does. Jade Talbot, her fourth. Shoup to the free throw line to shoot two. Free throw on its way, no good. Run guard is Tinbury. Come back in. Wilson is Talbot. Starter is back out for Ellsworth. Shoop second throw up and no good. Hard off the back of the rim, no good. And the rebound's pulled down out of there by. Run guard. Davis left wing with the ball above her head. Skip pass to Haas. Looking for run guard inside. Oh, she stepped on the line. Sure looked like it. And the reach in foul on Kirstie Nelson. It'll be the sixth team foul on Minneapolis. She picks up. I've got her with three. 30-second timeout by the Lady Lions. Trailing by six, 33-27, 7-13 to go in the fourth. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the gymnasium. Minneapolis trailing by six, 7-13 left in this contest. Ellsworth play it in under their own basket. Colby Davis play it in for the Lady Cats. Aaron have much more luck on their inbounds as we did. Now Davis has it on the right wing. Looking out on top for Brungart, gets it off to Talbot. Dribble drive, passes it back out to Haas. Skip pass to Davis, looks at the three. Baseline drive gets it back to Tenbrick. Her shot off heel no good. And Charisma McNary has the rebound for Minneapolis. Hands it off to Zoe Shoot. Now Walker, dribble drive in the paint, shot off the glass and good. Courtney Walker. Lines back within four, 33-29. Point six and seven for Courtney Walker. Davis, three-pointer off the heel, no good. Great corner, they almost had her fifth foul. Now on the backside. Oh, yeah. Finally, oh my. Rebound, Tenbrick had it. And Shoot. over the back, we tie her up. Shoot was on her back, basically. Uh, over her back, how was it? There you go. Six minutes left in the contest. She's got to shoot that. Walker, three-pointer, way off the mark. Kornick has to take that shot. Five fifty-six remaining in the fourth. Talbot hands it off to Davis all the way in. Walking foul called on Walker. I 
Walker had her space and uh, Davis just ran into her. Walker's third personal foul. Davis to the charity stripe for a one and one. Free throw, no good. Bounces around, Ellsworth comes up with the rebound. They reset the offense out front with Talbot. Foul on shoot. That will put Talbot at the free throw line for a one and one. Shoops whistled with the reach in foul. That's Zoe's first foul. Paige Talbot. One and one, first throw on its way. No good. Big rebound. By Faith Kornick. Nelson dribble drive. And the foul is on Tenbrook. It's just her first. Sixth team foul. Next Ellsworth foul. Minneapolis three on the one and one. Minneapolis to inbound. Under their own basket. Gets it into Charisma. Shoot. Nelson. Looks inside, no one there. Now drip drive into the paint. Kicks it back out to Charisma. Has the shot from the outside. Shot rimming off, no good. And the long rebound is picked up by Talbot. All the way in, shot no good. And the rebound pulled out of there by Charisma Vignari. Wow. And a point black shot, it just rimmed off. Try to get in inside the Kornick. She cannot handle it. Pass was there. Did not get a handle on it. Goes out of bounds to Ellsworth. 440 remaining in the fourth. Could have used a bucket there. We're down two possessions. Pass. Now down low. Oh, tipped out of there nicely by a shoot, picked up by Vigneri. Now Minneapolis in control. Vigneri picks up her dribble, gets it off to shoot on the left wing. Now inside to Chris, er, Kornick. And yeah, that's a big basket right there. Holds Minneapolis two within two. Davis tries a left hand layup, no good, and picked up on the backside. Timbrick. By Brungart. Oh, Brungart. Okay. And she puts it up and in. Double dribble called on shoot. We turn it over as shoot gets a hand. I guess she carried it. Double dribble, I thought was a call. It was. Four point lead for Ellsworth. They play it in. Paige Talbot with the ball clears the timeline. Gets it off to Hass. Ball screen by Tenbrook. In the lane she goes, tries to dump it down. No one there, now down low. Tries to clear some space. We got to turn around and play. Back Just up, let her go. Fortunate there. Yeah. <laughs> we were fortunate. She almost touched it too soon, yeah. I thought. 37 <laughs> 31, timeout called for by Coach Weatherman. One minute timeout. We'll take one too. This is Eagle Communication Channel 20. We'll be right back. Thirteen left in this contest. Minneapolis with the ball. Carolyn Giles has her pocket picked by Davis. Shot up and good. Eight-point advantage now again for the Bearcats. Davis. Good grief! Looked like she was fouled. 
Rebound off of Cornett, out of bounds to the Bearcats. Eight point lead now for Ellsworth and they have the ball, 250 left in the contest. Davis, right wing, dumps it down low. And McNary handy on the spot. Picks up that loose ball, layup up and good. Gets the lead back to six. Coast to coast, Dale. 39-33, 2.22 to go in the fourth. Two possession ball game. Timeout called for by the Ellsworth coach. 2.17 left in the contest. It's a full timeout, Dale will take one too. This is a close one, Minneapolis back to a two possession ball game. 39-33. Welcome back to 17 remaining in the fourth, 39-33, the Bay Lady Bearcats. Well, Dale, two quick fouls by Kornick in the second half, but she plays on. Yep. And two, two minutes left in the contest, she's still on the floor. That's encouraging. Out front it goes. I look for Ellsworth to run a little clock. No, not with Davis on the floor. Davis all the way to the basket. The layup is good. Spans the lead to eight. He's Four. automatic if you can get the ball. Cornick now with nine points. A walk. Oh, she walked. Pembrick benefits from the pass up and in. Nice pass from Talbot to uh, Tenbrick. Dale mentioned, shot up and in. Use a three right there, Nelson shot way short. It will remain with Minneapolis. Evidently, they tipped it as it went out of bounds. Out front, shoot. Steps back, shoots, no good, and Kendrick with the big rebound for Ellsworth. Minute 15 left in the contest. Now we're going to have to foul, and we don't want to foul her. that one. <laughs> Under a minute now, 43-35, eight-point lead for Ellsworth. Tenbrook all the way in, left-hand shot, good. And a nice dish from Talbot, 10-point lead Largest now. point lead with the right for the Bearcats. Not a good pass. Cutter wasn't looking. Screw behind her. Well, if we wanted to foul, we should have. We they get it all the way in. That's an easy shot for Talbot. 15 seconds remaining. Forty-seven thirty-five, 12-point lead. 13 seconds left in this contest. Kirstie Nelson to play it in for the Lady Lions. Gets in to Faith Kornick. And foul is whistled on number 32. That will be the seventh team foul on Ellsworth. Kornick will go to the line for a one and one. That's Jade Talbot. She is fouled out if my dots are correct. The scoreboard agrees with you. Kornick. To the free throw line to get into double figures here if she could hit one or two. Nine points currently. This is a one and one. First throw on its way. No good. Misses the front end of the one and one, and that should be about it. 47 35. Ellsworth extends the lead late in the fourth quarter to take a 12 point victory. I'll be back with some point totals. Here in just a minute, the Lady Bearcats take down Lady Lions 
47-35. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. Welcome back to the gym. Point totals real quick. Lady Bearcats, I forgot to write down that final score. 47-35. Final. It was close uh, midway through that fourth quarter. Yep. Ellsworth uh, kind of just run us out of the gym there at the end. Point totals for Minneapolis. Faith Kornick led, led Minneapolis in scoring with nine points. Charisma McNary with eight. And those 17 points all came in the second half. At absolutely zero in the first half. Who was that, ag who was that again? Faith Kornick and Charisma McNary, those oh, 17 yeah. points yeah. came in the second half. Faith had nine oh. and Charisma had eight. Courtney Walker had seven. Zoe Shoup had two. Kirstie Nelson had seven points, and that's a good point total for her. And Courtney Forte had two points off the bench for Minneapolis. For Ellsworth, Jenna Haas had three. Paige Talbot had six. Tenbrick had six. Brungard had six. Gate Talbot had eight. And leading all scores tonight, Kobe Davis with 18. And I believe he was four or five from the charity stripe. Ellsworth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine makes from the free throw line, and Minneapolis had one. Davis took over the game in the third quarter. And that basically was all she wrote. We could never catch up. Yes, if you can keep her away from the basket, you'll have a good chance of winning because all of her points are layups. By quarters, Minneapolis was in, the, in front at the end of one, eight to five. Outscored nine to six in the second quarter for the 14 all tie at half. They outscored us 19 13 the third quarter and 14 to eight in the final stands for the final 47 35 score. So the line, Lady Lions go to one and four. The Lady Cats go to four and one in the opening NCAA contest of the season for both of them. Next up comes Sacred Heart at Salina, and that won't be an easy task next Friday. So we appreciate your watching here on Eagle Communication. We hope you can come out and support the Lions on the road or at home. Thanks, for, as always, for having us in your home. Dale Leach and... Mike Perry. Signing off. Good night, folks.